Cam wants out. Tibbs is short in the rotation. Nine-man rotation. And Cam finds himself on the outside looking in. After having a good season. Coming off the bench. Starting. Flashes, you know, the offensive flashes defensively. You look at the Memphis game, obviously, first game of the season that sticks out. He did it he, to, to me, he did everything he needed to do to stick with this rotation and stick with this team. And obviously, I felt like the two guard spot was Grimes's to lose, and they were holding that for Grimes regardless. I didn't think Cam was going to stay there. But they were holding it for Grimes. Nevertheless, I thought that Cam was going to stay in the rotation. I thought his D, he showed you more than enough defensively to prove that he's needed on a team that has been woeful defensively. Up until, yeah, they're playing better now. But for the large part in the season, they've been atrocious. Especially at the point of attack. Compromise on the wing. RJ not giving you much defensively at all. Fournier was already going to be gone. And now it's looking like McBride has leapfrogged Cam in this rotation. And Cam is on the outside in. Even in garbage time tonight. No Obi. And we forgot to say that in, in the game stories. Yep. Obi left this game early with a knee injury. Even in garbage time, ladies and gentlemen, Cam Reddish does not Get any burn. Cam Hive, we need to hear from you guys tonight. Because to me, something's a little fishy here, Al. It's just a little fishy. And look, I didn't think Cam had much staying power with this team. I didn't think they were going to sign him long term. I think they will get, get a trade done. But it's still surprising to me um, that he's fallen out of the rotation. I felt like the organization botched. This evaluation of this player, regardless if they want to keep him or flip him. I think over the last mm -hmm. year and a half, they bought, they completely botched this situation by not getting on the same page with the coach in terms of how to get this guy into the into the groove, how to get him into this rotation so we can get a proper evaluation of him. And now it, it, it's reached a point, looks like Cam Reddish has played his last game as a Nick. Which came uh, just last week, man. Y your thoughts? Ooh, ooh. Man, you know, uh, shout out to Nick's papa who added me on Twitter. He's a big supporter of the show. And he asked me, with Obi going out, do I did I think Obi, did I think Cam was going to get minutes? And I said, no, I did not think Cam was going to get minutes tonight because when you get Bondi reporting that both not only the Knicks, but Cam's team. Yeah. His camp. His camp is negotiating. They're working together to find him a new location, right? A new team. I didn't think he was going to play tonight. And when yeah. I hear that type of stuff, I always think, what's the best interest of the player when you want to get dealt and you don't want to be with this team anymore and playing is not where he wants to be, right? He wants to make sure he's healthy. He wants to make sure that another team, you know, they can look at the, the tape from earlier this season and say, you know what? We see that there's something there and we can we can use that on our team yeah. right and when i was talking to brad he he had the same it was the same conversations that they had in Atlanta you know you'd see all the tantalizing material him being able to attack him being uh you know able to guard multiple positions on defense he talked all he talked all about it for anyone who hasn't checked these game of the week previews i highly recommend you all check it out it's not it's only great. do we preview the matchup we are also getting intel on the other side of what's going on with their season. And, 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 and for opportunities like this, when you're talking to the Hawk, a Hawks, a uh, Hawks reporter who's been coming to the team for 12 years, he, he has some insight on what he's seen, especially with Cam Reddish. And so when you start hearing that he didn't show anything, you know, it goes back to the same story where they wanted Cam to play as a role player, but he didn't want that. He wanted a, a larger role. He wanted out, right? Because he wasn't going to get that larger role. And they allowed him to play just for some developmental purposes. Comes to the Knicks. I don't think the Knicks was his destination. He sees his classmate from Duke, RJ, there playing the position that he wants to play small forward, right? Tibbs didn't want him. 
you keep going down the line and you even saw last season, right? There was an injury. Couldn't get on the playing time as soon as he was traded to the Knicks. Mm -hmm. He gets minimal playing time. As soon as he starts cooking, injury. Derails everything when we started to see what he could offer this team. He just, we talked about this entire offseason, CP. You and I, we didn't think he was going to crack this rotation no. because Tibbs trusts his veterans and he, you know, like he didn't show enough based on like all the, because of his injury and just the situation he's been in, right? How would Tibbs even trust somebody like that? He gets that opportunity now. The fact that you look at this, that he got the opportunity. And even Jeff mentioned it on one of the post game shows that he didn't, he didn't, they didn't even make Grimes work for the starting rotation again, right? Yeah. After Cam put on, he was their guy. Good film saying, yeah, he's their guy. And like, look, he, they, they drafted Grimes. Tibbs likes him. That was, that was a guy that Tibbs said he wanted to keep, you know, mm -hmm. for, 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 for the future. Want him in the draft. Makes sense. Makes sense that he has a lot of faith in him. But when you hear that, when you see that Cam even worked for it and then he loses that opportunity, I could see why he doesn't want to be here. But yeah. at the same time, didn't Berman also report that Cam didn't want to be here at the beginning of the season? Berman was on it, man. Everybody got no, on man. Berman. Yo. Cam got on Berman's. Hey, it's not true. Hey. You want a tinfoil hat theory? Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. Here's the tinfoil hat theory. Yeah. Grimes, remember on the West Coast trip, Grimes said he was healthy for two weeks, right? Yeah. Two weeks. They were just being cautious. He was healthy for two weeks. I think that was an opportunity for Cam, right? Because Berman reported that he wanted out. I thought mm. that was, I think that was an opportunity for Cam to put together some film to show other teams what he can do in this mm. league because he probably knew that for him to get a starting rotation on this team, it wasn't going to happen, all right? Mm. It wasn't going to happen. I think that they gave, they they held Grimes back, said, all right, let's get some film on Cam. That way we can bump up his trade value. We can get him on out of here because Tibbs front office were not on the same page. And at the same time, Cam wants a larger role, man. If Cam wants a larger role, that's probably not going to be with the Knicks. All right. Let's go points. Even though I think he should be in the starting, I think he should be in the starting rotation. Clearly that's not what the, the coach wants. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point, man. I, I think he's, he's played his last games as a Nick and you're right. Maybe they're holding him to keep him healthy at this point to look for a trade. I do think the Berman thing had legs to it over the summer, even though Cam emphatically denied it. And it was one of the questions that I brought up with Ian Begley when we did the quarter season report is that mm -hmm. was Cam's camp happy with his role as it was? Yes, he got into the starting rotation. Then he was with on the bench. But knowing that he had always wanted to go to a team to have a larger role, was he and his team satisfied with how things were going with the Knicks. And we what we clearly find out right now is it's not. And I think what we've also, what this organization has also signaled is that they're not going to invest any money in them, which they, which I agree with that they shouldn't. And Cam Hyde might get mad. Is your CP, you're hating. You know, this guy's great talent. I think they overrated him. I like his defense. I thought his defense could help. I thought he was a, he was, a, he was an inconsistent player. I didn't see much of that going to, that was going to improve. And I didn't see why the organization would invest money in him when you can go in the draft and get a replacement. You can get a 3 and D guy in the draft. Maybe some mm -hmm. higher ceiling depending on where the Knicks are, where they where the Dallas pick ends up. We'll see what happens. Knicks should be able to pull something nice from this draft if they play their cards right, depending on where they finish. But let, let's hear from the people, man. Hear what the people got to say. Let me start with uh, Mike from Manhattan. Mike, what's going on? Yo, you can hear me? Loud and, loud and clear. Let's go. Alex. All right, I liked what you guys said. I don't trust nobody, Alex. I don't trust nobody on this Knicks organization. I love Cam, but let's take Cam's name out of this. A, a wing that plays good defense, that shows that he has the ability to take it to the basket. We're going to bench him. We just spent the first round pick on him, and we're not going to do nothing with him. That's horrible asset management. I'm here for every game that we win by 20-plus. I'm here to humble all of us. That's what I'm here for. That's my job. That's my role on Knicks Fan TV. We built, I just don't know what we're doing here. Like, I really don't know what we're doing here. We don't have nobody in our team that's a top 60 player in the NBA. Not one person. You'll take two people on every team before RJ and Julius, for sure. Yeah. Some, te some teams probably even three. So, and we're not even going to get a top draft pick. We're not going to the playoffs. 
we stuck in we stuck in the friend zone. We not going nowhere. Mm. We not doing nothing. Mm. We stuck in the friend zone in the NBA right now. We not doing nothing. I, there's not a day a day. I'm to the point of ending the season where like the games aren't fun no more. The game. The, what am I watching? I'm watching Julius score 37 for him the next game to miss every three because he just hit all his threes today. You yeah. know what happened? Smash the under on his threes next game. <laughs> I'm out of here. I love y'all. <laughs> Alex, keep looking cool. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Looking for an opportunity and seem to get it. How hard is it to understand that you, know, you left Atlanta looking for an opportunity and now you have to face that again? Nature of the beast, I guess. I mean, I'm learning it. You know, it's my my fourth year, and uh, I'm learning a lot of the business side early. So I guess it is what it is. We're gonna roll with Coach Tate. You know? That's that. Mm, is what it is. Nature of the beast. And here's Cam when being asked about the trade rumors. Boy, they said you and uh, oh, excuse me, your representatives in the Knicks are working on. A trade. Y'all seem to know more than me, for real, for real. I don't know what y'all talking about, but I haven't requested no trade, nothing like that. But I guess the report's just gonna keep reporting. I'm at the house just chilling. So, mm, so Cam Cam denies it again. <laughs> Cam Cam denies it again. Um, I mean, Al, you be the judge. You people at home, you be the judge. You know. Cam says it's cap like the young like the youngsters say out there. Mm. I don't know, man. This is the second time we're hearing it. He's out of the rotation. What what else could what else do you expect him to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I want to be traded. That would be even worse for his, for all for everything he wants to get done. That would be even worse for him. Right, I, but, I I don't think uh, he he didn't he never even made his trade claims when he left the Hawks. He never confirmed any of it. He's out of here, man. Nope. That well, was Ian Beck. He wants a larger role. Yeah. He wants a larger role. You know, he wants to be in starting in a starting unit. Okay. He's not gonna. No player will come out and say, "Yeah, I requested a trade. I don't want to be here anymore." Like very right. few. There are players who've done that, but for someone who's on a rookie contract, who's looking to be a starter, who's looking to still have a career in the NBA when he hasn't really, you know, he's shown flashes. That's every, what everyone keeps going back to. We've seen flashes. We've seen flashes. We've seen flashes. So if you've only seen flashes, you know, and you haven't built that, that portfolio of a career yet. You got to be on your P's and Q's of what you're saying. So you can't go out there and be like, I demand a trade. Yeah. You know? He's not like Zion Williamson, who, who who's an all-star. He's not like Luca, who who's an all-star. You're like, if, he, if they demand a trade, <laughs> it's a different it's a different level. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the smirk on his face at the end of his video is kind of telling everything. <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, he, him saying like, uh, you guys know more than me. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> so, somebody in the chat says, uh, y'all know more than me is my go-to when I'm about to lie. Jay Thompson. <laughs> I definitely use a couple of those back in my day. I, I definitely use a couple of, couple of those. I definitely use that Never heard that before, times, man. man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used that. Never I heard that them. before. You know more than me. <laughs> all, all, all the stuff you go back to. All, what <laughs> word? I don't. I never heard that before. I, ne- I never oh, seen you like never. That. You know. You never use that one, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, de- I definitely use that one, man. You know. Well, of, of course, man. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> or this is news to me. I, I never heard of it. <laughs> Jay Thompson, man. But Shorty definitely went through his phone and, and bagged him. And, and he gave it a lot. Mm. Hey, you know more than me. I don't. <laughs> 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 oh man, 